St. Mary's is an all-girls school. Uh, we've been around for a long time, since 1869. Our doors have been open to educate young women. St. Mary's Academy is a community of learning, faith, and service. I felt that connection with my teachers and with my classmates since the first day, and everyone's just, it's just a really welcoming environment. We uh, heavily believe in investing in our young women. They will be the future leaders of tomorrow. We want to prepare them to be strong and confident leaders of the future. I've made a lot of new friends, and I've also found that I've been able to like reconnect with old ones. And it's interesting because people always tell you that you make some of your best friends for life in high school, and I'm starting to think that that's actually true. <laughs> What's been most interesting to watch in, for our daughter as she's gone through the academy has been not only to grow in learning and taking on new learning challenges, but also how she's developed as a person and the way she's taken on challenges to step forward and be a leader, as well as to look outside of the community in ways that she could make an impact. You know, our mission is to be able to provide an opportunity for all young women to come to the school, to make sure that we have a sustainable bursary program for many years to come, and um, that provides an opportunity for those students who otherwise couldn't afford to come here, those families to, to apply for a bursary and to be part of this community. St. Mary's began uh, very, very humbly. The little settlement of, of Red River uh, was growing on the east side of the river with Archbishop Taché and the Grey Nuns. The Grey Nuns opened the school in uh, May of, uh, of 1869. In August of 1874, uh, four Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary made a long trip from, uh, from Montreal and uh, landed in Winnipeg on August 22nd of 1874. Um, I think the intent when the Sisters at first came out was at the time to provide education for all children and, and especially education for young girls. It was harder for young girls to, uh, to find educational opportunities. And education that was also faith-based. And I think that's what really sets us apart from other schools in, in Winnipeg. But it's that faith component that permeates every day. The religious component of our school community helps to foster within our students or continue to uh, nurture within our students something that hopefully has already been a seed in them. And that's that sense of, uh, of knowing that something bigger than themselves is guiding them in life. We have, you know, a university prep academic program here, which continues to um, grow and develop. We do our best to give them a good grounding and um, so that they'll be well prepared when they hit the first year of university. One thing it definitely prepared me for is uh, like university teachers' expectations and sort of the expectations of the real world. I believe that we uh, encourage critical thinking, critical thinking that will enable us to uh, be good problem solvers, be um, good uh, in terms of relationships. The teachers are amazing. They really love what they do. They're concerned about the whole child. So they're concerned about their emotional well-being, what they're learning academically, and as well in finding ways to challenge them that don't overwhelm them. At the end of the day, we've seen them excel uh, because of the commitment that the teachers make, that the school has, has provided in terms of having the ability to see what our daughters have been able to achieve in this setting. Teachers are very encouraging and enthusiastic about learning. The teachers here are more than their teachers. They're, they're true confidants, true mentors. My favorite teacher would be my phys ed teacher. She's very encouraging and you have lots of fun with her. Let's go five more minutes, hard for five. The athletic program has something for everybody here. What they learn on the ice is about how to work together as a team, how to be confident in your decisions, um, how to try things and be okay with making mistakes. 
and learning from them and growing as a person, but also growing as a group. Uh, in terms of athletics here at St. Mary's, we have several opportunities for that, both in gym class and on a team like the St. Mary's prep team, where you can combine those skills that you're learning in the classroom and on the gym floor and put it on the ice as well. It focuses on the social, emotional, and spiritual well-being of the student, every aspect of it. St. Mary's has lots of clubs and activities, suiting lots of people's abilities, talents, and gifts. The service component at St. Mary's Academy is very much about developing the student's sense of social responsibility to others, both in an internal sense within the building, a local sense within the city, and a beyond our city borders and looking at a global sense of social responsibility. Well, the service learning aspect of it definitely does make you a more rounded person. It's really helped me see what I can do in the world to make a difference in the world, even through small actions. Our girls graduate from here with a great amount of confidence in themselves and in the world. I think that's kind of sort of one of the main things that um, I've taken from here is just that, um, that confidence in terms of um, being a woman and what that means when you um, move out into the world and, um, and learn in different experiences. There's nothing I like better than hearing from, uh, from former students, uh, from reading about them in the paper and, and realizing that they do make a difference in the world. I think that's one thing that we do very well here is we instill that they have a social responsibility to make this a better world and I think through their choice of profession they're doing that. It's a family. It's a big family that you join when you come to St. Mary's. Everyone's an individual here, but people look out for each other. It feels like a safe place. It feels like a place where girls can be girls and girls can grow into women.